Hi there. These are lessons from my father. The first is entitled Growing Up versus Growing Up. I was either in the 10th grade or 11th grade at the time of this learning experience for me. I never remember my father ever telling me that I had a curfew, but during those days in the late 50s, 60s, uh, it was just natural that you had a certain time to come in and kids didn't really stay out late at night. One evening I came in rather late and the next morning my father said to me, hey you came in pretty late last night. Your curfew on a school night is 10 o'clock. Your curfew on Friday and Saturday night, you need to be in the house before midnight. I said, okay, Dad. Well, a couple of weeks passed by, and one evening during a school night, I came in a little late. Well, the first problem was the door was locked. Now, let me explain something to you. Back in those days, I was the last person normally coming in the house, the only male, I had some sisters, and I was the one who would always lock the door and cut the post light off. But this time, the door was locked. I went around to the back door, and the back door was locked. I said, oh my God, what's happening? As I sat there starting bamming on the door, asking someone to let me in, no one said nothing. It seemed that night it was the quietest night of my life. I began to panic. I went next door and knocked on the neighbor's door, which was Mr. Bub. Well, he said, who is knocking on my door? I said, Mr. Bub, this is Earl. Now he had three or four kids as well, but all of them were in and asleep. He said, son, why are you out here at this time of night? I said, Dad, my father would not open the door for me. Tears coming down my eyes now, and I'm rather in a panic mode. He said, come on in. He picked up the telephone and he called right next door to my dad's house. He said, Mrs. Bates, I got Earl over here. What's the problem? My father told him these words. He said he thinks that he is grown. If he's grown, then let him find his own place to live, buy his own food, take care of his own clothes, pay water bill, like a grown up supposed to do. Mr. Buff said, Oh no, Mrs. Bates. You know I got the same rules that you have. And my kids have a time to be in just like yours. I'm going to take care of him, and when I finish, I'm going to bring him over to you. You see, I see a lot of children today who are trying to be a grown-up instead of growing up. And once this occurs, this will lead to problems both in school and out of school. You see, if you are a child, you're supposed to be a child. And once you become a grown-up, then society looks at you and things start to come at you at a greater level. You can't be growing up and a grown up at the same time. Parents, it is your responsibility to help your child grow up, but it's also your responsibility to not allow that child to feel or to think that they are a grown up. This will cause many problems with the child and with yourself. To our youth today, you'll only be 12 once, be 12. 13 once, be 13, 14, 15, and so forth. Take the time and learn what you're supposed to learn at each age level. So when you do reach adulthood, or when you do become a grown-up, you will be able to act and handle the responsibility that is forced to you. If you try to do it ahead of time, it's not going to work. A lesson that my father taught me, he put his foot down. If you want to be grown, buy your own house, take care of your own food, your own clothes. And that was the end of me trying to be a grown up before it was time. Thank you.